This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be starting our next topic that is serial number management. Okay, so the so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see what is serial number management, what are serial numbers basically. We will understand that reasons for using serial numbers why we need to use the serial numbers we will we'll understand we'll cover that the link between material number and serial number what is the link between the material number we already have in the system and the serial number then creation of serial numbers in production orders in the pp from our pp side how to create the serial numbers in the production orders we will see then creation of serial numbers manually how to create the serial numbers manually then serial number profile, use of serial number profile, and configuration related to serial numbers. What is the configuration behind it? We will understand. Okay. So these are the topics we will be covering in the serial numbers. Okay. So first we'll start with the serial numbers overview. Okay. So basically, serial number, serial number management component is used to identify and differentiate between individual items of a material so let's say you are producing a product okay now let's say you want to identify each product each piece each item of the manufactured product using a separate number unique number okay you want to have the differentiation then you will go for serial numbers serial numbers Okay, suppose let's I'll just give you a simple example. Let's say you have iPhone, iPhone 14. Okay, there will be a lot of iPhone 14s will be there. So each iPhone 14 will have its unique number, serial number. Okay, suppose let's say same iPhone is used by many people. Then how you will identify it? Separate iPhone, each one. How do how you will identify? How you will differentiate? So for the differentiation, you will assign a unique serial number to each iPhone separately. So that is called serial number. A serial number is a number given to an individual item of a material in addition to the material number. In order to differentiate between this individual piece and all other items of the material. So to differentiate each piece of the same material, you will assign a unique serial number to the individual item individual piece okay you can use serial numbers in various business procedures within logistics so the serial numbers is used in all the areas of the logistics okay not only not only pp it is used in mm pp sd in all the all the modules all the areas of the logistics the material number and serial number combination is unique so always the material number and serial number combination will be unique and uh, you cannot repeat in the system okay. so this is the one suppose let's say you are producing pump you are producing a pump okay so let's say you today you produced let's say four pumps four pumps now each pump i want to identify uh, with a unique number i want to differentiate okay so it is already having a material number so apart from the material number you will assign a unique serial number to each piece you see here this is the one is a number assigned to this piece two is a number assigned to this piece nine is a number assigned to this piece and eleven assigned to this number piece. so serial number is the number assigned to each item of a product or a material to differentiate it from the other items of the same material okay number given to an individual material in addition to the material number it will already have a material number but you will give a unique serial number to it this serial number cannot be repeated again for this material the combination of material number and serial number is unique you cannot repeat so basically it is for the differentiation okay so the serial number management which we are talking now is not only used in uh, pp 
not only used in BP, it is used in other areas of the logistics like sales, QM, plan maintenance, MM, in all the areas. Okay. So why we need to use the serial number management? Okay, one is it improves transparency and visibility of the material usage. Suppose let's say you produce a product, you want to know where this particular material, where this particular item, one piece is used. I want to have that visibility or to which customer it has been say, uh, sold. Okay, if you want to have the transparency, transparency and visibility, then you have to use the serial numbers. Okay, meet legal requirements for traceability in the supply chain inside your wallet. So if you have, if you start using the serial numbers, the traceability will be become easy. And also it is legal require, you can meet the legal requirements. Okay, it sets the foundation for warranty handling, providing authenticity and reducing cost. So, warranty handling also will become easy suppose let's say you are producing a finished product you are selling it to the customer okay if there is no serial number which item has produced on which date you, your warranty becomes difficult if you don't have serial numbers so the warranty handling will become easy and you provide authenticity you will have the all the data which particular item which particular piece is sold to which customer okay where it is uh, when it is produced exactly that item all that will become uh, uh, you can capture in the system and it will become easy okay so these are the reasons why we need to use the serial number management serial numbers okay so now we will talk about serial numbers from the pp perspective okay so only from the production point of view from the pp model perspective we will discuss about the serial numbers Okay, how to generate the serial numbers automatically, manually, how the serial numbers are handled, all those things we will discuss. Okay, so serial numbers are serial numbers can be assigned for individual pieces of material when creating, releasing, or during good receipt of the production order. So in our PP flow, in our production order flow, you can assign serial numbers. When you create the order, when you create a production order, or when you release it, or when you do final goods receipt after the production. Okay. The serial numbers can already exist or can be created during the assignment. So there are two, two methods. First, you create serial number, then you will assign it in the production order. Or you can create serial numbers directly during the production order, creation or release. Okay. The serial numbers that are assigned to the production order are transferred to the goods movement on goods receipt. Suppose let's say you create serial numbers, you assign serial numbers during the creation or release itself. Okay, then those serial numbers will automatically get transferred during the goods receipt. I will show you this in the system. I will show you this in the system. So the serial number profile must permit the creation of serial numbers for the serialization activity create production order. So to create the serial numbers in the material master, you need to assign the serial number profile to the material. Okay, so now let's go to the system and see. Okay, so basically what happens is you can create the serial numbers in the production, either when you create the production order, during this time you can assign, or during the release, production order release, or you can assign during the course receipt any one of these three stages you can assign it you can assign it okay so now let's go to the system and we will see some uh, uh, practical so how to how to create the serial number so before going into the system so what you need to do is to generate the serial numbers you will you need to assign the serial number profile there will be a serial number profile that needs to be assigned to the material in the work scheduling view, work scheduling. Okay, so this is prerequisite. If you assign this, then only system will assign the serial numbers either during creation of the production order or either during the release or during the goods receipt. During these three stages, you can assign the serial numbers. Okay, so we will see later on serial number profile configuration. First, we will see the front end part. Okay. 
So now let's go to the system, log into the system. Okay, let us take a material. We take a finished product. Okay, I have created this product already, motor. Okay, you see here, this is a finished product already created. But what you need to do is to generate the serial numbers. First, you need to go to material master. Go to MM02. Enter the material. Enter. Go to work scheduling view. There is a work scheduling view. Go to this work scheduling view. Continue. Our plant is 0001. Continue. Okay, here you see there is a 